What's up everyone, Erica here, and I'm back today with another video for you. We are back celebrating another forgotten favorite and, shocker, another favorite of mine. <laughs> today we are celebrating the Rescuers, or the Rescuers Down Under. This collab has been put together by my friend Jossum and my friend Saria, and it is just a bunch of us YouTubers getting together to celebrate forgotten favorites, Disney movies that, uh, you know, we grew up loving, movies that we don't think get enough love, that's for sure. Rescuers is definitely one of them for me. The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under, I have just like such fond memories of watching the rescuers growing up. Evan Rood is one of my all-time favorite sidekicks, an underrated sidekick. Bernard and Bianca are my second favorite mice couple. <laughs> I love them so much. Miss Bianca is just so glamorous and beautiful and classy and passionate and really just does really excellent work in what she believes in and that is just She's like the best of the best, honestly. The way Bernard loves Bianca, like there's just so many factors that contribute to these films that I just love, along with some of my favorite characters like Wilbur, Albatross Air, love that. Uh, I also love, love Joanna the Lizard. Like I just love her. Joanna, that's like one of my favorite parts from Rescuers Down Under. Did you take one of my eggs? Go in your mouth. And the a little, uh, he's not a chameleon, he's like a lizard. Is his name George? I think his name is George. The one that's kind of like Cuckoo's Nest in uh, Rescuers Down Under where he's trying to pick the lock with his tail. I can't forget about pea soup. Oh, pea soup. Pea soup. That's another one of my most favorite scenes. I remember that scene like clear as day when I was a kid loved it but you guys will have to let me know down in the comments have you seen the rescuers is it a favorite of yours do you not really remember it is this video going to encourage you to go and give it a watch again to give you a little bit of a refresher please go watch the movie i encourage you it the first one is very sad but it just pulls on your heartstrings with all of that being said for today's video the way i am going to be celebrating the forgotten favorites of the rescuers slash the rescuers down under is I'm going to be sharing with you all how I go about Disney bounding. If you've been here on my channel with me for a while, you know that Disney bounding is a big uh, passion of mine. I love doing it. I love, love, love Disney bounding, but it does take a lot of work. So today I'm going to show you kind of the quicker version to inspire you guys and to also let you know that you don't need to have the craziest backdrops here i'm in my bedroom currently this is an accent wall that we have here in my bedroom i'm going to be filming the one disney bound i did which spoiler alert is a miss bianca inspired look so yeah I, I did it here in my room i ordered one outfit i was really happy with the way that it came out i'm also going to be sharing with you guys different ways to incorporate the color schemes of the character you're trying to Disney bound as, as well as some little like extra touches, if you will. Some ways that maybe you can't really see on camera or in pictures, but some of the extra steps I like to go through to really make myself get into character, if you will. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share you guys the process of how I pick my outfits, how I style them, and kind of what inspires me along the way. Just a friendly reminder, please don't forget to check out all of my friends' videos. Everyone will be listed in the description box below. But also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet and you like videos like this, Disney bounding, uh, Disney videos, unboxings, a little bit of mom life, makeup life, DIY, kind of everything in between, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. It would mean everything to me. <laughs> but for now, let's go ahead and get on into how I Disney bound. 
getting started we are going to pinterest this is the best way to get started if you don't have any ideas on how to get going with a disney bound i highly recommend pinterest i like getting on there to kind of take a look at the different outfits that the character wears uh, miss bianca's are pretty simple i feel like she has maybe two or three outfits within both movies so once i have a pretty good idea i'm gonna head over to handy dandy amazon uh, I wanted to get a statement piece for her hat, so I first typed in lavender hat. I first came across this beret and I saw that it was only $14, so I really like this option because it seemed very similar as to what she wears. This hat here was what I was thinking I might wear if I did the Rescuers Down Under version of Miss Bianca, but that hat was $50, so I thought the beret was a better way to go. Then I started to search for off the shoulder tops that were in the shade of lavender and I didn't really like anything. Everything I'm showing you guys, it was kind of like too hoochie mama for me. Uh, <laughs> I think Miss Bianca is very classy and I did not want to do that to her. So I instead decided to go with a lavender shawl and this is a couple that I found. So the first one I found was this kind of like mini cape that I'm showing you here but I did end up going with a just like a scarf or a shawl that I'm going to show you here this also was pretty affordable yeah it was around $13 and I just thought it would be perfect so I did want to add the white element for sure uh, so I went looking for a white collared lace tank top but I couldn't find anything that was collared I wanted to wrap like a ribbon around you know under the collar but I wasn't finding what I was looking for so I ended up going with this kind of lace ruffly top I thought it was very elegant very beautiful so now that I have everything purchased from Amazon I waited for everything to come in obviously and uh, for makeup I decided to go with a very pink and purple look I wanted pink lips because I felt like this could kind of represent her adorable pink little nose and it's moving on to the hair. I wanted to keep the hairstyle very simple because obviously Miss Bianca doesn't have like a specific hairstyle. <laughs> so all I did was I slicked my hair into a side ponytail and just did a regular braid down the left side and I realized I need to change. I can't do my hair without wearing the proper shirt. So I had to do the same step all over again, but it was very easy. If you guys know how to braid, that's really all you need. Again, I'm just gonna secure it with an elastic and it is moving on to accessories. So here is what I wanted to share you guys. If you're following me on Instagram, I kind of did a guessing game with you guys to see if you could guess who inspired my nails and it was Miss Bianca. Yeah, I got these nails done a long time ago, so they're a little grown out, but we're gonna disregard that so anyway uh, I went with my favorite accessory pearls and I feel like Miss Bianca would wear pearls one of those added touches that I wanted to tell you guys that's a little extra is the perfume I feel like Miss Bianca is very classy and she probably smells good so that's why I decided to go with a little bit of some bougie perfume and here is our outfit put together with our accessories our makeup the whole look Again, I love Disney bounding because it is totally your interpretation of a character. For me, I just like this color scheme for Bianca, the white, because obviously her fur, she's all white and the touches of lavender. That is exactly what I see in her. Uh, yeah, so I had a really fun time putting together this outfit. It was very simple, but I hope that this inspires you guys to not get into your head. It's not as daunting and as overwhelming as it might seem. Uh, just do a little bit of research and I'm sure you will be happy with your results. That's gonna do it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I had a lot of fun putting together this very simple, elegant, cutesy version of the Miss Bianca Disney bound that I came up with. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Do you see Miss Bianca? Was I wearing the beret wrong the whole time? You can tell me, you can tell me in the comments, like Erica, Learn to put a beret on first, sis. I hear you loud and clear. I had so much fun participating in this collaboration, just like I do every single month with all of my friends. Uh, I will leave a couple of my previous forgotten favorites listed in the description box. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope to see you back again for the next one.
Bye.